Toby had been welcomed warmly on Thomas's branch line. He loved chuffing through the village, cheerfully ringing his bell as people waved. The villagers were quite taken with their new tram engine, much to Thomas's chagrin. One evening, Toby and Henrietta were bringing the workmen home from the quarry. The trucks, loaded with stone, rattled behind them. They had just left the quarry and were crossing the road when they heard an awful screech. Toby stopped, the trucks blocking the road. The driver and guard went along the train, looking for the problem. One of the truck's brakes slipped on, Toby. It must have been loose. Won't take long to fix. Toby sat patiently as the crew tended to the truck. Suddenly, he saw something up the road. The constable who had given Thomas trouble came speeding towards him on a bicycle. Hello, 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 and what is going on here? Trouble with the wagon brake, sir. Won't be long until we're on our way. Now this won't do at all. You're blocking a busy public road. Toby glanced up and down the road. There wasn't a car in sight. Um, it doesn't look very busy at the moment, sir. Don't get smart with me. You engines are nothing but lawbreakers. He scribbled furiously in his notebook, stormed back to the guard, thrust a ticket towards him, and rode off in a huff. Obstruction of traffic? What nonsense! When the truck's brakes had been fixed, Toby set off, quite dumbfounded. I don't understand. There wasn't a car to be seen. I think that constable has it out for us, so Topham Hatt won't be happy about that ticket. <laughs> Perhaps you're not the solution he thought you'd be after all. Thomas shut his eyes and promptly went to sleep. Toby <laughs> chuckled and followed suit. Outrageous! More coffee, sir? Oh, more coffee is certainly welcome, Winston. I don't know. These policemen, they're more trouble than they're worth. He sipped his coffee, pondering what to do. Later that day, Toby was heading along the farm lane with some trucks. He was still cross over what happened, and the trucks knew they had best behave themselves. As he came up the lane, he could see the constable on his bicycle. Toby exited the lane and was just starting through the town when a car shot out in front of him. Ooh, look out! The constable hadn't heard the car, but it was headed right towards him. Without hesitation, Toby rang his bell loudly. The constable heard that. He fell off his bicycle onto the sidewalk, just in time to avoid the car. It sped off down the road and disappeared. Toby halted near where the constable sat bewildered. Are you all right, sir? Just what do you think you're playing at? But the car... Stow it. I'll be reporting you for this, mark my words. Before Toby could reply, Bertie the bus came roaring up. Toby, are you all right? That car didn't hit you, did it? No, Bertie, I'm just fine. Oh, thank goodness. You gave my passengers a good fright. Well, that was some quick thinking on your part. What's this? You're in cahoots with this engine? The driver and passengers stormed out of Bertie and marched up to the constable. Look here, Toby's a hero. If it were for him, you'd, you'd, well, you'd be in a sorry state, let me tell you. Now, will you stop pestering Toby and try catching the real criminal? The passengers, continuing to scowl at the constable, mumbled in agreement. Uh, uh, mm, uh... I, uh... I couldn't have put it better myself. Everyone turned to see Sir Topham Hatt and the Chief of Police. First, you disrupt the work of my engines. Now, you pin the blame of someone else's actions on them. I must say, Constable, your actions don't leave me with much faith in the police. I assure you, Sir Topham, we'll be taking action to ensure this never happens again. He motioned angrily for the Constable to follow him. Uh, I, uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't think you'll have any further issues with him. Toby had never been so relieved. That night, Toby backed into the sheds to find Thomas smiling. 
<laughs> well done, Toby. Oh, nothing to it. You've got to look out for the people on your line, no matter their behaviour. Not that. I mean the constable. You should have seen how he jumped when you rang your bell. Not so tough after all, I suppose. Toby smiled. It certainly hadn't been done for a laugh. But he couldn't help feeling that, by saving the constable, he made a friend of Thomas. Here's your freaking thing. This will be my big break into Hollywood. I'll pay it after free. I could do like a really stupid accent. Right? Oh, good eye, mate. Hey there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing blocking the road for, mate? Eh? Oh, shit, oh. oh man, I'm, I'm offensive, aren't I? <laughs> I love if you do it. I'll take a real food at the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs>